in the classroom, but if you decided to come onto the street to demonstrate. You see, a lot of things are going on wrong in the University of Ghana. The first thing has to do with the unlawful increment of, of, of school fees. The government of Ghana, the highest decision-making body of the Republic, gave a directive to all public tertiary institutions that nobody, none of them, whether you are the VC, the Chancellor, whoever, you are not supposed to surpass a 15% threshold of last academic year's fees. But the University of Ghana management has surpassed that 50% threshold and have increased school fees to up to 38%, 40%. Why? People are suffering. Because times are hard. What? You see, but you have to follow the directives of parliament. They get you see, even the 15% threshold doesn't mean you are supposed to increase up to 50%. Okay. You've increased, you've, 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 you've allowed that 15% and you've gone further. You see, another one has to do with the issue of Commonwealth War and the yeah. A purported clash happened. No substantial evidence has been established that so so and so person, person A, person B, as soon as C, and now Bintini, was in that purported class, alleged class. Yeah. You go ahead and then pass a judgment and then remove students to different halls. Halls that they are paying three thousand, uh, three times, three times, four times the price that they used to pay last academic year. Let me for the uh, university management to create more accommodations for them. For the students, they are going to continue with this demonstration until their demands are met by the management to the University of Ghana. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibet, CB3, Accra.